Hello, beautiful friends. Welcome to Crystal Tarot 1111. Today I'm going to be talking about the full moon in Leo happening on Thursday, January 28th. And full moon energies last for about two weeks um, leading up to the new moon on February 11th. So even if you're watching this video after the 28th, these energies will be prevalent and these themes will be prevalent through the new moon that we have coming up in Aquarius. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm really glad you're here. I know many of you guys have um, come over from my other channel and I greatly appreciate it. Um, and I want to thank those of you that have been doing the extended readings along with those of you that have donated. It really, really um, makes a difference and I really appreciate it, especially as I'm building up this brand new channel that's still pre uh, relatively small, so it's very small actually. So that really makes a difference and I really greatly appreciate each and every one of you for um, those of you that have done that. So we're gonna take a look here at the, we're gonna break down what full moons really are about. And um, you know, this is about an amplification. Full moons always amplify everything. And so we're gonna look at how this particular full moon is going to be impacting us in the collective. We're going to look at the, the thoughts, the emotions, and the instincts that could be amplified with this particular new moon, uh, sorry, full moon. And that way you can kind of know what to anticipate in your world. So I'm just going to start off by pulling some cards here and taking a look at the effects that this full moon will be having on the collective. What might we be seeing? We have the Hermit, the Page of Cups, the Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. Four of Cups, the Chariot, Eight of Swords, and the Magician. Three of Cups, Five of Cups, the Emperor, and the Page of Pentacles. Let me move these up and I'm going to pull another row. Ace of Pentacles, King of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Lovers. The bottom of the deck, we get the Knight of Cups. Well, starting right off, this particular full moon does have a significant impact on romantic relationships um, because of, because of uh, the aspect of Leo. Then there's Venus. There's some alignment that has a lot to do with Love and again, guys, I'm not an astrologer, but what I do is I do channel the astrological energies through the tarot. Um, so I'm certainly not an expert in all of the conjunctions and squares and trines and everything, although I know enough to be um, versed in it a little bit. But what we have here is. Right off the bat, I'm sensing this energy of somebody finally, we may be feeling with this full moon, like it's finally time to take the opportunity that's sitting right in front of us. Something that maybe has been in front of us this whole time and we just haven't seen it and we're finally taking it. And this is something where we might decide to it's like we're ready to go out and, and toast. And what's so, toast and celebrate, right? Maybe go out and feel social for something brand new. And it's funny because I like this to me, this to me, this guy looks like he's ready. He's like chugging his beer before he goes and does something brave and courageous. Um, Because it's like there's this desire to go out and have fun there's this desire to start something new and to come out of the to come out of our shells and i do see here that i feel like especially with this five of cups here it's almost like we're build. we could feel courageous to right a wrong of the past. We might feel the desire to apologize. We might feel the desire to open up communication. We might, we might suddenly get brave and start something brand new. 
that maybe we've been a little afraid to do so up to this point because there is this energy of of fast quick communication where we might come in and communicate something really quickly something that is where we take charge of a situation because we're kind of tired of waiting right um, this is I mean this can apply to any aspect of your life of course but I'm getting a sense for some of you if there's any ability to go out and socialize and kind of come out of your hermit mode that there could be something new that begins now there is an energy of impulsivity that does come with this particular full moon and so it's important that we start to pay attention to the words what we say because like again everything is amplified but when I'm seeing the lovers here, we have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Emperor. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, King of Swords, um, the Magician. It's like we are, we're ready for something new. We're ready to take control. For some of you, you may decide to move, to, to move away from a situation from your past you know what it's over with it's done with I, it may be over but I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not defeated by it it's like there's an ending here for some of you this could be something a little bit unexpected and I say this which obviously it's interesting because that's an aspect of this and this is the um this is kind of a this is an interesting interpretation of the tarot there's the there's all these people waiting to ambush this guy because you know the ten of swords typically has the swords all in his back there's a betrayal there but this is where it's right before that moment you know it's like he may not see it coming and you may not see it coming however it is, a, it is a manifestation that's meant to be there for us so that we can take charge of our life. Where Because we may have felt helpless here in a certain situation. And there could be some sense of communication. There could be a choice made when it comes to love and partnerships that bring us into, an, I mean, again, new beginnings. There is victory coming. And it's like things could move pretty quickly with both the chariot and the knight of swords it's and the king of swords it's like quick 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 and you're it's being driven by emotion it's being driven by emotion and also intuition so let me get another deck here and let's look specifically at what could be what thoughts emotions and instincts could be amplified in this situation so what thoughts could be amplified with this full moon what might be on our minds see being blunt page of swords queen of cups and justice the 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 we're thinking about what to say we're thinking about communicating we're thinking about communicating about our feelings and making and bringing some balance to a situation so I'm just getting this energy of if you've been keeping your mouth quiet about something that this could be the full moon energy where we just blurt something out um, and certainly we may blurt something out that we've been wanting to say but we haven't had the courage to say it um, because there is something here about returning some balance to a situation. So whatever's gone unsaid could suddenly be said. Let's see what emotions could be amplified. And we are getting a lot of cards here about communication. We've got two pages. We've got many swords. Okay, so let's see what emotions could be amplified. The Hermit, the Nine of Cups, and the Devil. Well, God, 
gosh, it's crazy because this is the before tarot and this is the after tarot. And here's this snake that's coiled up around this hermit. And here the hermit is holding the snake up. So it's like he's grabbed it and he's holding it up to the light. Whereas before, he's still yet to discover it. The energy is still pent up and built up. And so we might sense this. We might need to just have some sort of emotion. We might just like an emotional release. We might feel a little bit like overindulging as well. I have to say that in whatever way that is. Because again, this guy's like drinking his out of this cup. Here's the nine of cups and the devil, which both can sometimes indicate overdoing things a little bit. And we could, it's, this is a full moon to be careful guys of doing something that we might regret because of the desire to have fun, the desire to connect. So definitely pay attention to that. Because I don't know if you guys can see this, but the lovers are here, like, in, <laughs> they're hanging out down there doing something. <laughs> so, um, if you're out socializing, be careful if you're in a relationship of some kind. Because um, this is where you might be somewhat tempted. Although, at the same time, this can be a beautiful new moon for beginning relationships. Because it, you could get that little dose of courage to finally open up and to say something, to finally ask somebody out, to finally open up that communication around, hey, you know what? I like you. I've been watching you from a distance here. I've been wanting to ask you out and I just, uh, I haven't and uh, here I go. Ready to do it. Let's see what instincts could be amplified with this full moon. And there will be an extended, and what I'm gonna be doing there is gonna be looking at more aspects of the new moon, sorry, full moon. I'm going to look at what illusions are being released, what changes we're making, what opportunities could arise. And then I'm going to break down emotions, instincts, and um, thoughts amplified for both the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So that link is going to be down below. So let's, and I apologize guys, I didn't, I wasn't able to post the um, extended on Monday because of extenuating circumstances. I had recorded it in the middle of recording stuff happened and I just I uh, was not able to get that extended reading up for you and I apologize for that. Um, so let's see here what instincts are being amplified with this full moon. <laughs> There's the fool. The three of wands and the ace of cups. Like I said, many of us might instinctively just feel like, you know what, it's time now to take a risk in love. It's time to open up. It's time to open up to what I really desire. And I love this depiction of the fool because this fool has taken the leap of faith and he's dangling on like, oh crap, I just jumped off this cliff and this dog's barking like, hey, somebody help. He's dangling there, but he has taken the risk, right? He has taken the risk and he's smelling the rose here. It's helping him stay centered, even though he's hanging on the precipice here. But instinctively, it's like we might just go for it, take this leap. And if it's not love, this is something where it's it's like we are, we're ready to open up to happiness and we're ready to be set free to, to love, to do something that we love. Maybe we've been stuck in something toxic, whether it's a work situation, a relationship, a living situation. And it's like, you know what? I'm ready to be free. I'm ready to be happy. So lovely souls. Um, I, I'm kind of curious how you guys are going to navigate this for sure. And so just pay attention to these energies. Realize that sometimes, you know, We've been needing to say something. We've been needing to open up, but for whatever reason, we've overthought it, overthought it, overthought it, felt like we couldn't do anything, and then boom, suddenly things happen. So for those of you not heading over to the extended, I'm going to leave you with some guidance here for how best to navigate these next couple of weeks. And in the extended, I will get a lot more in-depth 
and I'll see some of you over there, but let's get the guidance for those not going over to the extended. What is the best guidance? The groundhog spirit. It's time to let go. Time to let go. It's time to let go of inhibition. If something's been holding us back from something we know we really want, it's time to let go of things that are done and over with. It's time to just think about the, you know, the groundhog. <laughs> of course, they're bringing me the Groundhog Day movie, right? Where it's like living the same thing over and over and over and over again. It's like you can't, it's like same, same, same stuff, different day, right? And it's just the same thing repeating and repeating and repeating until you get it right. And we have the opportunity with this full moon to let go of repeating cycles, to let go of things that have just not changed. We keep getting up every day and we think the job's going to be different. Oh, crap, it's not. We think getting up every day thinking the relationship is going to change. Maybe today's the day things get better. And nope, it doesn't. So it's time to let go and it's time to move on. And I knew the wolf spirit was going to come out because this is the wolf moon. See how that just jumped out? Turning knowledge into wisdom. Right? This is where... We know now because of our experiences. We know because of the difficulties we've been through. We have discovered this stuff about ourselves. We've discovered why we were in the situations we were in. We've discovered why we um, made the choices that we did maybe logically. And because you can only gain wisdom through experience because you can have book knowledge all day long, right? But it's only through experience that you um, actually acquire wisdom. So you know now, and you've known that it is time to let go, but the wisdom comes on the reflection of the lesson of the experience of why you went through what you went through. All right, lovely friends, I hope that this was helpful. I'll see some of you over in the extended, and please do like, share, and subscribe if this was supportive to you. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.